Yo, what's up, guys? Oof, oof! What a beautiful day! Look at the sun and the sky, and oh my god! And you guys know what I like to do when it's such a beautiful weather outside. I like to check my email. All right, so I just want to take this opportunity to thank every single one of you for subscribing to my channel all right regardless of where you are from for different parts of the world appreciate it a ton what is this what am i looking at It's blank. It's blank. Ah, oh, hey, what is up, guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another Brave Nine video. All right, today is we're going to talk about some beginners guide. All right, something that I've been working on for years. Just kidding. It's just been a couple of days. All right, plenty of you guys have been constantly asking me. To provide some sort of beginner's guide and i'm currently working on some obviously today's topic is going to be a bit different so i just published a mystic island uh, video guide so hopefully you guys check that out so that you have a rough idea what is the best uh, things for you to be obtaining from the trading post so i did a video already on it i'll try to link it in the description below so feel free to watch that video as well after you watch this one now in this particular video i want to talk about five mistakes that players tend to do or usually do all right so if you are a new player watching this you can improve on the game all right it's going to make you a better player now some of these mistakes i've personally done it before and it takes a while for me to realize okay i've been doing it wrong all the while so take advantage of the mystic island it's not just a place where you get dust and you buy things there's more to it than that okay so let's talk about mistake number one that i see a lot of players do The first island, Mystic Mine, not putting your units right here. All right, this is especially important. All right, so why is it important? So Mystic Mine is the only part of the island where you can get diamonds every day. So now if I press a return and then I can collect 20 diamonds. Now these 20 diamonds, it might not seem much, but hear me out. If you are a free to play, all right, if you are a free to play, this is very important. So one day, if you are an active player, you will be able to collect and place your units at least twice in the Mystic Island. So easily, you can be obtaining 40 diamonds every day. So 20 diamonds per run. Now, regardless you are free to play or pay to win, 40 diamonds can be a lot depending on how you look at it. Over the course of one week, that's 280 diamonds, man. Seven times 40, 280 diamonds. Over the course of one month, you're gonna get 1,200 freaking diamonds. Now that's something you have to take into consideration. If you do play this game actively, that extra 1,200 diamonds that you're earning every single month, all right, from just collecting the Mystic, you're not doing anything. Just collect, just collect from the Mystic Island and you can do two times 10 pulls. You can do multi pulls. You can add that to your mileage. Now that is insane. That is incredible. Let me do this free pool. So a lot of players are undervaluing this. All right, they are looking at this like, ah, uh, it's just 20 diamonds. Uh, it's okay if I miss it. No, it's not. Especially if you are free to play. All right, so this is something that I see lots of players not doing correctly. All right, not just beginners, even advanced players, veteran players have been doing this mistake for years. All right, if I go here, all right, I guarantee you, if I keep refreshing, I'm going to find someone who do not put anything on their first mystic mine all right i guarantee you i'll find one eventually let's keep refreshing we will find one eventually like look at this all right this guy is smart seaside he's actually smart he's putting it on the most important island now that that island that mystic mine 20 diamonds the rest i'm not going to say that they are not important but you do get some items from it but if you want the 20 diamonds mystic mine is a free place for you to be farming it all right let's just keep refreshing 
Maybe we will find one eventually, or maybe not. It doesn't matter. The next day, like, look at this. Look at this. This is extremely triggering. All right, crazy Jun. If you are watching this video, man, I'm coming for you. If you don't put your mercenary in that mystic mine for 24 hours, I'll come to your house. I'll cough at your face. All right, I'm seriously doing it. How do you not put right there for the 20 diamonds, and you are putting it everywhere else? What's wrong with you, man? What's wrong with you? Okay, so you get my point. So this is going to happen um, more often in the bronze and gold tier league players. Like if you are in bronze league, typically when you try to attack other people's island, Mystic Island, it will be paired with someone in your league. All right, so right now uh, it knows that I'm in Ruby League last week, so it's kind of comparing that to players from the same league as me. So most players there, they are aware. All right, they do know that they need to put diamonds right there. I mean, they need to be farming their diamonds right there constantly because that is a good way to earn diamonds, all right? It's extremely important if you're free to play, so make sure you're doing it every single day, twice. All right, tip number two, not using the revenge function. Now, this is something that I've, I've personally done before and it's just... It took me like literally six months to found out, find out about this, all right? So it's just crazy. And hopefully some of you guys who are new watching this do take note that if you want to try to attack an island, all right? So obviously you go to the pillage on the bottom right. You click on pillage, all right? And then you can, you can obviously search for an opponent. So you can press research 9,000. Obviously you start off with 200. So the goal increases gradually, right? So if I were to refresh again, 9,000, 9,600, now I get less. So you get the point, right? It gets, you're wasting gold eventually, finding for a better island to pillage, all right? You want to pillage as much as you can, but there is a better way. So right here, in the top left corner, under the battle record, you can actually perform revenge against players that have pillaged your island. Now, this is a good thing because this one will always be here. So let's say this guy called Kuyu with uh, Japanese, whatever, all right? So, I can choose to pillage him later. I don't have to pillage him now, right? 90 diamonds, 154, that's the most I can get. But I don't have to do it now. I can wait later. So, once he, once he stack up more diamonds, then I can go in and pillage him later. So, this is something that I think more players need to take note of. You can always come here and look at your option right here. If you have plenty of uh, people who have been attacking you, they are right there, ready to be pillaged. And you don't have to waste your goal in that method in trying to search for better islands for you to pillage, all right? So you can just check it right there first. And if there aren't any that's suitable or up to your standard, you can just wait for a bit. And then you can check back later. Maybe there's more dust stack up throughout a couple of hours and then you can pillage them later. So that's going to save you a little bit of gold. So remember, do check the battle record from time to time. So you might be able to save some gold instead of constantly refreshing and research right here. All right, so tip number three for you guys is not using the Mystic Island to level up. All right, this is time and time again. I've seen players uh, bragging about how many normal scrolls they have, uh, how many slimes they have, but at the end of the day, you want to be leveling up your units via the Mystic Island. Now, here's why. When you put your units right here in the Mystic Island, it's free. You don't need to consume slimes. There's nothing. You're not paying for anything. You're just putting it right here. So I would recommend, if, especially if you're new, you're going to have plenty of units that you want to work on, right? Maybe you have a 3-star Arines, a 3-star Hewn Wall, a Beatrice. Like, uh, if you use your slimes only, you're going to run out real soon and then you're going to have to constantly farm uh, your, your event dungeon of slimes. Yes, you can do that, but that's not a good option and it's not, a, it's not an efficient way to spend your resources, especially for the horseshoes. If you're new, gold will be much more important to you because you're going to need as much gold as you, as you can. All right. So I've seen a lot of players do this. Uh, even for veteran players, like probably just try to bring in any units that you want to level up. For me... I do not have any units that I want to level up, so I'm just leveling up my fodders. Look at this. So now, I will be working on my fodders, all right? Yes, it's a long process, I know. It's a long process. It's not as fast as slime. You are putting it there. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Every single one of these units, these fodders, I'm going to make them a two-star, all right? So like right here, these are all max level. I can rank this up. I can make a one-star. I mean, I can make a two-star from these one-stars. 
and then I can make two stars from three stars, and then I can make four stars, and then I can make five stars, etc, etc. All right, the key is to try to make as many five stars as you can. So ideally, you want to have as much uh, rank up stars as that you can, so that you can try to six stars all your units, which is what I have here. Even for your even for your units that you don't use often, eventually you, you will want to six star them because now there's plenty of contents in the underground evil castle and you will need to start practicing for novice and stuff is gonna make you it's gonna make you a better player overall. So this is your end goal. You want to be getting a bunch of these uh, five star rank up stars. So this is how I get all my five star rank up stars, right? I don't really rush them. I do it slowly. Every single day, just place fodders. All right, go to normal scrolls right here, recruit. Use your normal scrolls, just recruit this, kablam. Or you can go to friendship right here and use this 100. Get 10 units and then place them on the Mystic Island. All right, so this is the best way for you to be actually... Um, this is basically the best way for you to actually get your units to level up, your fodders. Now, granted that if you are not currently working on a unit, this is what you should be doing. You should always constantly be leveling up. All right, a lot of players are doing this mistake. I've seen, I've heard players have, oh, I have like 10,000 normal scrolls. Can you beat me? Do you have more than me? So you're not spending your, your most efficient resources in trying to, you know, making a bunch of orders, making a bunch of units usable. And some of you might argue, oh, I don't really need that many five star rank up stars because I don't have that many units to begin with. Like, trust me, once you have, it's gonna take time for you to make them to that usable state all right so you want to constantly be farming so that whenever there's a unit come so that you can make sure that they perform at their optimal skill level so right now currently i don't have any units that i'm working on right but i have plenty of rank up stars so in case when the octo comes seto comes or belief comes or whatever uh, new units comes if i were to pull for them i'll have these rank up stars ready to go and I will be able to get them up to their optimum skill level. Now, some of you might argue, oh, uh, I, don't have, uh, I don't have the resources to build them anyway, so why should I care? Now, again, I'm going to argue with you, same point. A lot of units are actually strong at plus zero. I've proven it time and time again. For example, Yuri. All right, I've used it in a couple of videos. Hopefully, you guys have seen it by now. Yuri, she doesn't need skill level. All right, plus zero, runes, that's everything she needs. Awaken her so that she gets this this skill and to awaken her you need to rank her up you need to uh, make the fodders etc so mystic island is your best place to do that all right so if you are new to the game you need to start right now all right i did not know about this until like six months into the game then i found out okay uh i could have i could have done that long time ago all the while i was putting my four star units uh, in the mystic island yes they do collect resources for me but i'm not being efficient I should be leveling them up at the same time as collecting resources for me. So that's the much more efficient way of approaching things. All right, so next up we have mistake number four. I see time and time again, players have been complaining that uh, players always pillage them. It's a bit of a weird concept, I guess. Maybe they're not used to this game yet. And I do understand that. If you are new, it's normal for people to pillage you, all right? And you should be pillaging others as well because it will benefit you as a, as a player overall. So you should always be pillaging someone every single day, five times a day, to make you a better Guild Wars player. All right, so if you are not familiar with Mystic Island, Mystic Island works the same way as Guild Wars, where if you were to attack someone, they will be moving first. All right, so let me just show you guys an example. So if I attack this guy, uh, I try to pillage this. So there, uh, I try to figure out how to beat this formation. All right, it's going to give you uh, a strategic approach on how to approach this kind of formation when you're facing them off in Guild Wars, for example. All right, so for example, I'm going to go with uh, one, two, three, something like that. All right, so even if you screw up in Mystic Island, the worst that could happen is you just basically uh, lose a bit of dust and you might lose that chance to pillage that dust, which is fine. But it's going to make you a better player overall, alright? So you should always try to pillage Mystic Island, not because you're trying to be mean to someone else or something like that, alright? It's just because it benefits you as a player, alright? You're going to be able to learn much more things, and you're going to know what kind of mistakes uh, to avoid. For me, I always constantly try to pillage every single day, and looks like this is a, a lose. I'm not sure if I'm going to win this or losing this, but 
Most likely, I'm going to be losing this. Yep, we lost. Or maybe we won. I don't know. It's a very close battle. All right, so it's going to allow you to try to practice and try different approaches when you are trying to do Guild Wars as well. So this is going to especially help the newer players. So a lot of players don't really know this, but Guild Wars and Mystic Island, if you were to go into battle, the enemies will move first. You are moving second. So the thought process there is going to be a bit different. Now granted, in, in Mystic Island, you get to know that turn order. All right, but in Guild Wars, if no one has scouted yet for you, you will not know the turn order. But it's going to make you a better overall player if you plan to if you intend to play this game for a long time like guild wars they just give so much resources right there all right you're getting ancient coins you're getting diamonds ideally you want to be constantly trying to improve and if you can move to the higher guilds eventually get to the top top three guilds preferably but depending on how big the server is top 10 guilds usually is more than enough so that should be your end goal and if you don't practice in guild wars you won't be familiar with the system and there's just no room for mistakes and when you try to do guild wars in a proper guild battle uh, losing points is going to cost you getting kicked from guild sometimes so you have to take that into consideration so ideally use the mystic island to practice for guild wars all right you can always do i've already done a video on this as well um explaining why i always do this every single day all right it does make me uh, a better player it helps me improve okay not to mention that when you do that you also get to get this bonus uh, 400 mystic dust every single day now that's going to help you a l in the long run it's going to help you a ton because you're going to be able to buy uh, more things from here the trading post so do keep that in mind and overall definitely will make you a better player okay so tip number five is not using the return now option now sometimes we just accidentally place the wrong units and you are trying to exit as fast as you can for example right here uh, i don't want to place this for the units i want to place a different unit right you don't have to wait for the full duration all right it's going to end in like what nine almost 10 hours so you can always opt for return now so granted that return now there's also a timer cooldown i believe it's uh 10 minutes right after you put it i can just press return now so yes i'm getting half the mystic dust that's supposed to be but if i can place a different units and let it like level up overnight that's going to be more efficient all right so just you know small little things that can help you make more six star units in the long run right okay so that's gonna be it for this video let me know what you guys think of these tips five beginners mistakes for mystic island like even if you are a veteran player watching this let me know if you guys have ever repeated any of these mistakes before if you guys have anything else you want to add Feel free to do so in the comment section. As always, if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. And especially if you want help, head over to the Discord. Links will be in the description. And yes, as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.